All right, a couple things I wanted to point out real quick. Um, here's the nozzle from my spray gun, and this Rust-Oleum paint cleans up so much easier than that, uh, wherever it is, that Duplicolor paint. Hopefully you can still see, or hopefully it, it shows up, but it's there. It's kind of gummed up. It's the, it's that primer, and it was really difficult to clean, and it kind of gummed up around the edges, and took me a long time to, to really clean that out. It also kind of gummed up the inside of there, and there's even still just a tad bit of residue. Um, but the more I, you know, the more I use it, the more I clean it. The, you know, that old residue comes out. But this Rust-Oleum paint. Man, it cleaned up real easy. Just get another thing and fill it up with some, uh, I just filled it up with lacquer thinner. Drop some of your pieces and parts in there, like your nozzle and your cap and the little needle thingy. Just drop that in there. It cleans up real nice. And uh, I got the little gun cleaning kit. It was extra, but this was well worth the two or three dollars it cost. So if you get one of these Harbor Freight guns, Go ahead and spend the money and get uh, one of these uh, gun cleaning kits too. They're real handy. So, yeah, uh, this dupe, uh, this uh, Rust-Oleum paint cleaned up a lot easier than this Duplicolor paint. So, uh, just uh, just a, a note for you. All right, so here's the hood, and uh, I've got two coats on there. Uh, one kind of a medium wet coat, as they call it, and one more of a wet coat. And uh, it's been probably 30 to 40 minutes since I last sprayed it. And it's still a little bit tacky. Now, as you can kind of see by the glare, this thing is in direct sunlight. So, uh, it doesn't dry very fast, that's for sure. But, there is a lot of coverage. And, uh, hope, you know, I'm going to wet sand it and uh, then try more coats. I mean, this isn't really the best... Uh, piece of canvas effectively to be doing this on. There's a lot of scratches and I even just painted over bird shit and stuff like that and there's cracks in the original paint. But, it, you know, like I said, it's just an experiment. We'll uh, uh, let it dry up completely and then I'll wet sand it and uh, see how it is. And I want to come over here and show you my hood and uh, you know, all this gray area primer is the Duplicolor primer. And like I said, it's really, really thin. And so I had, you might be able to see some of the scratches in there. I had to go over this with the, uh, a little thicker bit of uh, filler primer. And you can kind of see all the little specks and stuff and how that Duplicolor uh, primer sprays. I mean, it's got a lot of chunks in it and I even strained it uh, with the with those uh, strainers, I think they're 60, 70 mesh um, paint strainers. Uh, but anyway, I've wet sanded all this down. And, uh, but, I mean, you can see with all the specks and stuff how much kind of crud is on that primer. I mean, you basically you gotta sand it right after you spray it, or once it dries, but again, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fill in any uh, scratches or imperfections or stuff, so something you need to take into consideration if you're going to use the product during your prep time. Uh, you know, go over the whole thing with you know real fine sandpaper, 300 or uh, finer. Uh, otherwise, uh, your scratches will show through uh, this uh, Duplicolor primer. It's real thin, so. Uh, I'll come back and uh, when that paint on the hood gets all dry, I'll uh, come back and uh, wet sand it and uh, I'll just keep filming. Uh, like I said, this is an experiment and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if this works. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's the next day. Uh, I'll combine, combine this into one video, but uh, it is uh, one day later since I sprayed this and last night I came out and uh, I wet sanded this area and I used 400 grit and uh, you can see it, you know, it knocked it down a little bit. There's certainly no shine there, but um, 
again that was you know that was 400 grit paper so uh, for something better you know use a grit that's a lot uh, uh, a lot thinner uh, you know like a thousand or a two thousand grit so I'll probably go to the store and uh, uh, pick up some of that uh, but it did smooth out real nice uh, still a lot of good coverage and uh, I'll probably try and focus in on this area down here I have a lot less blemishes you can kind of see the scratches and stuff I mentioned this the other day uh, you know this hood is kind of beat up so uh, I'm not getting a real good uh, ex you know a true what I want it to look like kind of uh, finish but you know I'm just using what I got and uh, trying to use this scrap hood before I put any paint on my panels that I've already uh, finished out and I apologize for my voice it's kind of horsey and stuff uh, picked up a cold or allergies or something it is May 6th here in Dallas you can see this tree is blowing up and this one's got some buds on it, so everything's kind of blooming. That rose bush is blooming. So, I don't know if I got a cold or it's just my allergies, but it sucks. I feel like crap. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to get uh, another coat or two of paint on this. Let that dry. And uh, then wet sand that, and I'll just keep filming. And we'll see how this experiment plays out. Okay, so I put another coat of paint on there. And uh, there's the problem with working outside on a windy day is you get all kinds of little crap that blows onto your sticky paint. And, uh, it, it's still tacky. It's probably been half an hour since I sprayed. And it's still tacky. Uh, while it was drying, I went to the store and got some thousand grit uh, sandpaper and some, you know, some paper towels. I was looking at the, uh, the can to see about recoat times. And, and it's a little too blurry. But it says may recoat when fully dry, usually in 24 hours. Dries to the touch in two to four hours, and to handle in five to nine hours. And so, yeah, it doesn't dry very quickly. Um, so maybe if it was reduced even more, it might dry a little quicker. I'm gonna experiment with that. Uh, again, the mixture. Uh, that I have right now is a 4 to 1, 75% paint, 25% paint thinner. So uh, we'll just uh, keep trying. I'm going to put another coat on there. It's still a little tacky, but I think it's okay. And uh, we'll let it dry up. And I'll just keep filming. And uh, we'll see how this experiment works out.